I received a question about how it's possible to retrieve a file stored on an ESP32's SPI FFS, the SPI file system. In the course uh, ESP32 for busy people, I showed you how to upload a file there, but not how to do the opposite, how to get it back so you can open it up on your computer. So uh, in this video, I quickly want to show you how to do exactly that. And I apologize for background noises. The kids are running amok upstairs. So to do that, go to your Arduino IDE and open up one of the example sketches. Whoops, wrong one, just a uh, uh, wrong click here. Okay, let's try again. So examples and then go into uh, the web server and one of the examples here is uh, there you go fs browser file system browser so open up this example sketch and it'll take it to this uh, example file so no need to go through the file itself and have a look at the details uh, all you've got to do at this point is to upload it you will need to put in your wi-fi credentials so just upload it to your esp32 and what it will do is it's going to install a very very basic web server running on the esp32 and once that is done we'll be able to use that web server Okay, upload it. Just wait for the reset. Done. We're going to use that web server to access the ESP32's SPI file system. So here I've just hit the reboot button on my ESP32 because what I want to see is the IP address that my ESP32 has. So let's use now my web browser. Now there's two things. You need the IP address and then here is a listing of the files that this sketch has found in the file system. So I'm going to use these two together. First, I'm going to go to HTTP uh, and the IP address of the ESP32 and then the name of the file that I'd like to download. So in my case, I'll just download the JPEG file here and try it out there you go so there's my jpeg file i could download um, this file here which contains data from the touch interface and that's actually gone into my download folder see if i can get to it and here it is i'm not sure if i can open this up i'm not sure if it's a binary file or not yeah it is a binary file so it just contains a bit of garbage so that's all there is to it download the fs browser example sketch and upload it to your esp32 and then use your browser to download any of the files that are listed here i hope this helps